there guys in this tutorial we'll be talking about AWS RDS snapshot pricing so let's know how AWS snapshot pricing actually work if you're interested in making point-in-time backups for your EBS volumes and RDS databases you need to make sure you understand AWS snapshot pricing so there are no surprises on your bill as you go get an overview of AWS snapshots first take a look at what AWS snapshots actually are when you take these point-in-time backups, you can snapshot data from Amazon EBS volumes and Amazon RDS databases. These will be available as incremental backups, which allow you to restore data from the moment the snapshot was taken. Let's talk about RDS and RDS snapshots. Amazon Relational Database Service is a separate service from EC2. It offers several database instance types, including Amazon Aurora, PostgreSQL, MySQL, MariaDB, Oracle Database, and SQL Server. Amazon RDS automatically creates backups of your database instance and creates a storage volume snapshot of your database instance, backing up the entire database instance and not just individual databases. While these are created automatically, you also have the option to back up your database instance manually. Like EBS, RDS snapshots are incremental and only the data has changed since after your most recent snapshot is saved. So how is AWS snapshot pricing calculated? Now, uh, you should know that for RDS snapshot pricing, RDS backup storage costs are made up of the following for both automated database backups and database cluster snapshots. Backup storage allocated by region. For Amazon Aurora, as of this writing for United States East, backup storage costs 0.021 per, gig per gigabyte per month. There is no additional charge for backup storage of up to 100% of your total Aurora database storage for each Aurora database cluster, and no additional charge if your backup retention period is one day and you don't have any snapshots beyond the retention period. Let's go and see actually how we do this. So from the Amazon RDS dashboard, we go to snapshots. From there, you take a snapshot. So let's continue talking about how the, its pricing is made. For the other RDS options, for example, Amazon RDS for MySQL, Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL, for MariaDB, for Oracle, and for SQL Server, there is no additional charge for backup storage up to 100% of total database storage for a region, and most databases require less raw storage for a backup than the primary dataset. Most customers will never pay for backup storage. If you do go over 100% of the database storage, you will have to pay $0.095 per gigabyte per month. After the database instance is terminated, backup storage is billed at $0.095 per GIB month. Herein lies the cost of orphan snapshots. More on this will be talked about. Let's talk about Backtrack. It's available for Amazon Aurora. It allows you to move an Aurora database to a prior point in time without needing to restore data from a backup, which is useful for recovering from user errors. You pay an hourly rate for storing logs called change logs. They are currently priced at $0.012 per 1 million change records. Snapshot Expert <coughs> The snapshot export to export data to Amazon S3 in parquet format you will pay per gigabyte of snapshot size, currently at 0.010 for United States East and Virginia. There are also costs for data transferred out of RDS, depending on destination. The costs range from $0.00 to $0.09 per gigabytes. Now, RDS snapshots free tier. You should note that on the AWS free tier, you will get 20 gigabytes of backup storage for your automated database backups and database snapshots. So guys, this is all you need to know about snapshots for RDS and its pricing.